what's up guys today i've got my hands on a new super compact versatile yoga style laptop so this is the mini book x by chewy so first of all quickly show you what you get inside the box so you're getting a 45 watt fast charger and the mini book x itself Design wise, what's immediately special about this laptop is the fact that it's so compact in size. It weighs only 920 grams with an overall metal body design finished in this rather nice space gray color and it's only 17.2 millimeters in thickness. Now I like that there is no branding at all on the lid so you can personalize this with your own stickers. So this is a convertible yoga style laptop. It gives you best of both worlds so you can have a compact laptop or the screen can fold back on itself, giving you a full tablet when you need it. Now let's talk about the display. We have a 10.51 inch IPS display. That's a IPS capacitive touchscreen with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1200. And we have a rather nice 16 by 10 wide aspect ratio. Now 10 inch full windows tablets are quite rare and this is a two in one. So it folds back 360 degrees, giving you a full tablet mode when you need it. The dimensions of this little laptop, it's 244 millimeters by 166 millimeters and it's only 17.2 millimeters thick. Now on the right, we have a microphone hole, two full featured USB type C ports supporting up to 45 watt fast charging, and they both support display out. And then we have a physical power button and an LED power indicator. Now on the front, you just have a lip to open up the laptop. And on the other side, you have some vents and a headphone jack. Now there are no ports on the back. And at the bottom, you can see we have four non-slip rubber feet and another grill across the bottom for ventilation but it's also where the speakers are located. Now the keyboard is quite nice. You have a bezel-less backlit keyboard design with full-size keys and a nice size touchpad. Usually with these type of 10 inch laptops the keyboard is always too small or crammed up and difficult to get used to but thankfully the Minibook X has a very nice backlit keyboard, great to type on and plenty of travel. Now the screen does have some bezels going all the way around and there is a two megapixel 1080p webcam built in, which is pretty decent for video calls, etc. Aesthetically, I do like the design of this laptop. It's very satisfying to use and it almost feels like a mini MacBook Pro. Now moving on to power and performance. The MiniBook X is powered by Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake Celeron N100, which is a 10 nanometer quad core clocked at 3.4 gigahertz and with integrated Intel Ultra HD graphics. Now this is supported by 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and 512 gig M.2 SSD. Now general performance of the N100 is quite decent for everyday tasks like web browsing, social media, office applications, schoolwork, watching 4K movies, streaming on Netflix Prime, YouTube, etc. Now to give you a better idea of the performance, here are the Antutu benchmark results. You can see we have achieved 363K in Antutu. And in Geekbench 6, we achieved single core score of 1165 and multi core score of 2380. Now, the price is actually quite competitive. Most two in one convertible laptops, like this one, usually start from around 300 pounds. But for that price, the specification, chipset, and RAM would not be as good as this Minibook X. In fact, the other branded Convertible laptops don't even give you Windows. Most of them are just Chromebooks with four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. So in comparison for £279 and the specifications you're getting, including full Windows 11 Home, this is a pretty good deal. Now, what about gaming? Well, Celeron processors with Intel graphics are not really known for gaming. Nevertheless, let's test out a few games and see what happens. Starting off with GTA 5. Now looking at the GTA graphics settings, you can see we're set to 1080p resolution. I have VSync off and everything else is set to normal graphics. So I'm still surprised that I'm actually able to play this game on an Intel Celeron chipset. And we're getting close to 25, 26 frames per second. Okay, so the resolution has now been dropped down to 720p. Still normal graphics. GTA 5 achieving nearly 42 frames per second. 720p resolution, normal graphics. This is not bad at all. All right, so we're testing out FC24, downloaded from Steam. 
So surprised to see that FC24 is actually working on this system. We are playing on the lowest graphical settings and resolution is set to 720p and we're achieving around 18 frames per second. So that should give you a pretty good idea of gaming on this mini laptop. You can play older titles like GTA 5 at 720p resolution and achieve more than playable frame rates. But the newer graphically intensive AAA games may not even work even at 720p. Now let's go ahead and check out some emulation. Now, the first game I tested was Fight Night Champion on PS3 and you can see it's absolutely unplayable. 9 frames per second. So PS3 emulation is not happening. So next up Tekken 6 on PS2 and you can see it's playing very nicely so PS2 emulation is working great achieving over 50 FPS. Thereafter I tested Tatsunoko vs Capcom on the Wii and as you guys can see it's doing very well achieving close to 60 frames per second. So next, GameCube playing WrestleMania X1X. And again, no problems here. Very smooth gameplay at around 60 FPS. Now for cooling, the Minibook X features a large silent turbo fan with a mini radiator and liquid heat pipes. I've had no overheating issues during general operation, but when playing games, it does get quite hot to the touch as this is not really designed to be a gaming system. This laptop has a 3,800 milliamp hour battery built in, promises eight hours of battery life with normal use. So that's web browsing, social media, um, or even watching YouTube videos. Also, this laptop does support fast charging and a 45 watt type C fast charger is included in the box, which can get you from zero to 70% in just one hour. Now, throughout my tests, I experienced a solid Wi-Fi connection. Windows 11 Home comes pre-installed activated and ready to use. The OS feels very snappy in operation and system boots up in seconds thanks to the internal SSD. And it's a pretty decent lag-free experience. Now I've surfed the web, shopped online, watched lots of online videos and movies. So overall experience for multimedia is quite nice and speaker quality and volume is also pretty damn good. And it's certainly nice to have a headphone jack on the side should you need it. So there you have it guys. That was my quick overview of the Chewy Mini Book X and here are my thoughts. So in a nutshell, I really like the build quality and performance of this laptop. I like the display. I like this solid rotating hinge. Um, you get a nice full size backlit keyboard, very decent webcam built in, solid Wi-Fi, great battery life with fast charging and very good overall performance. I was able to undertake more or less any task on this laptop. It even handled basic games fine. I don't expect to play the latest AAA games natively on this laptop. But that being said, you can still stream your AAA games from game streaming services like PlayStation Plus, Remote Play, Amazon, Luna, and so on and so forth. Now, I really like the portability and responsiveness of the touchscreen. The hinges feel very solid. Nothing cheap or flimsy. It's a very well-made product. The cooling system is quite efficient and effective. Now, there are a few caveats that I do want to mention. Connectivity is limited due to lack of full-size USB-A ports or an Ethernet port, so you only have two Type-C ports to play with. But on the plus side, you can grab one of these type of Type-C USB-C hubs, and that will give you access to all the missing ports, including Ethernet, HDMI, and USB-A ports. So bottom line, this is a great mini laptop. If you're someone who needs portability and enough performance to handle everyday office tasks and great for multimedia consumption. However, if you need a more powerful laptop for gaming or 4K video editing, then you need to look elsewhere. So that concludes my review. If you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews, hit the like button, sub to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.